So you want to make a bare material in Blender. Well, step one, you got to do your bear call. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again taking a look at a teddy bear type Muppet material. Um, somebody asked me if I could come up with a Muppet material that was completely procedural and only was material. So, like, I'm not going to do uh, particle systems, I'm not going to do anything else. And this was actually surprisingly... I wouldn't say difficult, but just it was it was it was a little strange to figure out. And I think this looks pretty good. I like the way this looks. It looks definitely looks like a uh, a teddy bearish kind of like what's that material? Not felt, but you get the idea. It looks kind of kind of material like. Um, I looked at a lot of different Muppets and a bunch of different Muppets have a lot of different types of materials and textures. But this one looks uh, pretty similar to a couple of the shorter haired Muppets and teddy bears and whatnot. So. Let's break this thing down a little bit. So I'm going to drag my window into two by going up here and changing this to a plus and then just dragging from the left hand side. Uh, I'm going to change this, uh, hit this little button right here, change this to the shader editor. By the way, I'm using a, uh, a half of a teddy bear <laughs> model <laughs> here. <laughs> um, and if I, if I remember where I got it from, then I'll definitely put that down in the description. Um, but yeah, it's called Finger Puppet Polar Bear, so you can probably just search that in Google and it'll come up like that. But anyway. We're going to go ahead and take a look at this. It's not too shady. It's not too crazy. It's not too out of the left field. It's pretty simple. But let's go ahead and take a look. So the first thing I want to take a look at once this is done loading um, is the the noise texture. Because that's going to be the big thing here. So all of these hit B. B to box. Select all of those. And then hit G to just move them over. And then left click to confirm. There we go. So this is what it looks like pretty much uh, without any of these over here. And it looks good enough by itself, actually. This looks fine the way that it is. You can just literally leave it like this, and it's probably good. But what I did was I turned everything off everything off of the principal BSDF shader and then changed the base color to a brownish color because um, I wanted a brown Muppet teddy bear type of thing going on. And, of course, this is the, the default node that comes with it. But then I added a noise texture, which is Shift-A. And then you go to search and then just type in noise here like that and you grab a noise texture and then I, I bumped up the scale to 10 I put the detail on 0 and the distortion on 300 the distortion is really what's getting us these kind of like beady looking like marks and I have a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, of these little stretchies with little stretchy marks which looks kind of cool to me actually so I, I just I just left them because I, I really like the way it looks because nothing is perfect. So we got a little bit of these like these lineage here, this lineage over here, right there. Because uh, when you touch like teddy bears or whatever, their you know their fur kind of gets messed up a little bit. But the distortion lower looks like this, so it doesn't look the best. So I had to bump it up a little bit because it needed to be smaller, and I didn't really like the hundred that much either. You could leave it on a hundred most likely, but I really wanted to go for something more fine, so I went with three hundred. There we go. Um, and now we can add in some of these. So I added in a couple of things. I added in a color ramp, um, which is Shift A, search, color ramp, and the second one right there. Boom. I dropped that right there. Only thing I did was I changed these two colors to a like tannish brown and a darker tan, a tannish brown reddish kind of thing. And then I plugged this into the color of the the base color of the principal BSDF, so that we had two different values. The darker tones were kind of sitting really nicely underneath the brighter areas, um, and you can tell just very slightly. There you go. So you have a little bit of a darker tint to the underneath, you know, kind of spaces, I guess. Um, and then we have an add shader here, which is Shift A. And it's not add, it's actually math. So you have to type in math to get the add shader. Math, and then it gives you add. You can change it to whatever else. But I just used add here. And if I disconnect these, I used add and I plugged the value of the add shader into the uh, color ramp. And then I mixed together a noise and a musgrave texture, which is once again just shift A, noise, noise, right there. And then shift A, musgrave. Cool. So those two. And I plug the uh, noise texture into the top of the add shader here and the musgrave into the bottom. Now, if I only do the one noise texture, you can see it looks uh, kind of like this, which you can't really tell the difference because it's not really being added with anything. So I have the scale on 92.7. We can probably just go with the even 90, to be honest with you. doesn't really matter. The distortion is on 6. You can see the distortion does change a little bit of stuff here. So 6.7 is what that's on right there. And I plug the Musgrave in underneath that. And the Musgrave is literally just to have kind of like, not really bands, but like, 
maybe ring type things here and you see instantly we have that bit of a darker effect when I plug that in instantly gets darker and what it does is if I pan back a little bit you see it has kind of like these little just a little tiny bit of texture and if I bump the I think it's dimension not to mention scale no not scale de detail if I bump the detail up you can see what it's doing exactly so if it's up way up here it's doing all of this I didn't like that because it was just too much it's too like what is that even supposed to be this is like I don't know what's going on but I put the scale down to what was it on uh, uh, the on uh, um, 0.3 so actually I think it was on point 0.1 yeah point 0.1 it was on point 0.1 just for that very subtle effect because that's what it's like with zero then that's what it's like with point 0.1 which just looks so much better to me um, you can probably get away with point 0.2 as well but I just really thought point 0.1 was just subtle enough um, to give the effect that I was going for so real like the way that looks really cool stuff these are both on 3d this is on FBM um, and uh, yeah, so that is uh, pretty much it for the teddy bear Muppet material, which is just super cool. Like I said, it was it looks pretty easy, but it took me a little bit of time to come up with it the way that I really wanted to get it. Um, and it's still not like perfection, but you could always go ahead and add in a um, uh, a particle system, which I did do of hair. Um, it looks like this. this is going to take a while, <laughs> but it pretty much has uh, 50,000 hair particles. <laughs> oh, man. Fantastic. Yes. 50,000 hair particles, um, and they're pretty short. They're pretty short. They're not super long. You can see we have some nice stuff going on here. It has some lines because of the seams of the bear, which looks kind of cool, um, and it has its own material, which I'll go ahead and do real quick. So under the render tab, if you go to material here, you can add in a new material that you do not, do not want this to be the same material as the actual teddy bear because it's going to add in all the displacement. And it's going to take forever to load. Do not click this. It's going to, it's going to, oh, it's a nightmare. So we're going to make a new material. Just hit, go to the material tab here. Hit the little plus button right there. And it'll create a new, a new, uh, a new, uh, a blender. A new, there we go. A new material. You're making it new there. Oh my Lord. Jeez. 50,000 particles is just not. It just doesn't enjoy the time that it's having currently. It does not. It does not liking it. It's just not liking it. We're gonna change the base color down to a darker brownish color, something like that. And now you can see that fits much better. Um, and of course, if I were doing this for real, I would want to, of course, get the hair off of his eyes and off of his snout here and off of some of the parts of his face and his head and stuff. Um, but I didn't do that. You can always do that with weight, uh, with texture painting and stuff like that and, and vertex groups, but I, I'm not going to go through that in this video, but um, this is just for the material. This is just extra now. So uh, yeah, this is a couple values. I'll just scroll through here real quick so you can see what I did. Just nothing too crazy. 0.2 on the hair length, um, random for all, some of this stuff here, um, and then some random here, a little bit of... Um, little bit of children interpolated and these are the settings here nothing nothing too insane just a little tiny bit of roughness there to get the hair to sit the way that I really wanted it to so that's pretty much for that's pretty much it for our teddy bear Muppet kind of material thing going on and it looks great without the um, without the particle system as well I just really thought I really wanted to do that just to see what it looked like um, but yeah so Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much for all the support. We're going to hit uh, 30,000 subscribers very soon here on the channel. And that's just insane. So thank you guys for all the love and support. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, bye-bye. <laughs>